Hello, my husters. Happy, happy, happy Super Bowl Sunday. I'm so, I'm so happy about this game. I was tossing up and I'm like, the 49ers or the Chiefs? Let's say prayers and I'll tell you what my decision is. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful, beautiful and blessed, awesome day. My God, have your, your way in this life of mine, my family life, my the YouTube community. Forgive us all for the sins we committed against you. We know any word, deed, or thought. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Oh, y'all, look what I got. Look at my spread. Okay, so let's do. Let's uh, do a toast for the Super Bowl Sunday. My choice for the team is the Chiefs. So I'm ready. I, I, I've already got all the food ready. I have my oldest son here. I don't know. David, who you saluting for? I have no idea. He have no idea who he's going to be. It's a good game. He said it's going to be a good game. I'm going for the Chiefs, y'all. You know, both of them have, you know, the, the record, they have similar records. So I just want to say Chiefs. But look here. This is the salute, salute for them to win that game. Uh, if I have to do a score, my score would be uh, 27 to 49. <laughs> okay, salute, salute, sip, 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 the good stuff. That is so good. Y'all, when I'm wearing my natural hair, I, uh, I straightened it. It was curly today. The wind hit it when I went out. But here I am in the natural, yes. All right, y'all, today I saw uh, black denim. I saw uh, so many of my, you know, favorite uh, YouTubers doing this crawfish. Y'all, oh my God, I got them. I'm ready. I'm ready to eat them. So my spread is crawfish. I have some uh, air fried chicken. I have some uh, dip, uh, the... Um, Buffalo dip, and then y'all know, y'all already know I'm that leftover girl. <laughs> I have some leftover shrimp fettuccine Alfredo. So let's jump in because I'm getting ready to do the game, the game, 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 game. Okay, so y'all remember um, yesterday, um, well, on Friday, um, I had some of uh, subscribers to give me topics. Uh, one of the topics were uh, uh, estranged uh, from your parents. A topic I have today is um, coping with divorce. They didn't, that person didn't tell me coping with divorce is for the children or us, but we're just gonna just tap into it just a little bit. So, oh, guess what else we have, y'all? Them devil eggs. Look at that. Yeah, go ahead. Take one. And let me know if it's good. It's good, ain't it? Yes. Thank you. So, yeah, we got that. So, we ready. All right. How y'all day? Who are coming below to let me know who y'all going to be rooting for? I want to know. Yeah. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got some good. I got some good lighting today, don't it? Looks really good to me. Yeah. Mm. 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 So, y'all. Leftovers are good, but don't do too many leftovers with seafood, though. I'm. I'm kind of scared of that. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. It is still so good. Mm. Mm. Want a shrimp? Take it. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I want y'all to meet my... I think y'all saw him on New Year for a hot moment. We were doing the pause challenge. So let me introduce my oldest son. He kind of camera shy, y'all, but. He 
His name is David. <laughs> Come here, David. Introduce yourself. How old are you, David? Oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah, don't tell your age, please. We're going to tell my age. Yeah, I'm old enough. <laughs> Ain't he handsome, y'all? With that patch of gold in that head. I love it. You know, in the summertime, uh, I always do my hair that color, but last year I was trying to get some purple, y'all. My God, I bought this product called Splat. Don't ever put that on your hair. It was awful. But this year, I still got some purple dye under the cabinet and that color. So I'm, I'm going to go that color for a month, and then I'm going to do the purple. Because purple is royalty, and I believe I'm a queen. <laughs> yes. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let's do this, y'all. I have been craving for this cloth Now, now, oh, look at all that juice. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's good. Did you put that in there? Uh. <laughs> Dad, can you give me a plastic bag? Oh, y'all. I almost waste my drink. The, underneath the cabinet. They should don't have a hole in about. Oh no, that one down. That's my alcohol bag. They come thick. Thick, thick. <laughs> this way. Thank you. Cool. Um. What am I tell? You lost it already? Yeah, I lost my tail. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all, I really did. I lost my tail. No, I didn't. Here you go. Look at that. It's big, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Look at that. I don't suck all the heads, y'all. I just want these tails. They are so big. Look at that. I always peel that boot from the back. The back on the wrong side. Ugh. When I look at black denim... Man, he sucked those heads, boy. Oh, I want. Oh, look how big them claws is. I I love eating my claws, y'all. Look at that, man. That's so big. Look at it. Yeah. All you gotta do is pinch that tail, and it comes right up. Look how big that is. Okay, here y'all. Take a bite. A good old crawfish. Take a bite. Oh, I don't have no lemon. Mmm. I don't have no lemon. Mmm. Y'all, this food is good. Let's take a bite of this chicken. Look at that. Air fried. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it's so good. Mm, 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 mm. That is good, y'all. Mm -hmm. What y'all cooking today? Mm. I asked y'all to tell me who your team is today. Uh, what's y'all spread? Let me know. I know a lot of people, depending on the weather, may have a pot of chili. Of course, they're going to have... Uh, Devil eggs and seafood, chicken, 
Some people will have meatballs. Mm. Now that's good. Mmm. Damn. Oh, y'all, forgive me for the language. This is so delicious. I was craving for these crawfish. And I have to tell y'all the truth. They frozen. But you know what? How I did mine? I put um, some of uh, Cajun seasoning. Oh, I got some Snap Your Mama somewhere. I did uh, some boil, Cajun boil, and a host of seasonings, a whole um, onion, uh, some whole cloves of garlic, some uh, fresh lime juice, um, some sugar, and I just let it cook until the onions got soft like this. And then I, I thawed out the, because um, they was already fully cooked, so I thawed them out. And then uh, once my, my juice did what it needs to do, I took it off the fire. I put these in and let them soak for 30 minutes off the heat. Honey, it just picked up all that flavor in that pot. Y'all got to try that. Y'all saw that? Y'all, that juice went everywhere. That's what you got. See, it's soaked in that juice. Ooh, it is so good, y'all. So good. Really good. Mm. Oh, you know what? I didn't think I have some uh, dash dipping butter sauce in the freezer, y'all. God darn it. That would have been perfect for this spread. That's all right. I will be pulling out next week with some shrimp and crab. Mm hmm Yep. Okay, y'all. This is good. This is so good. This is like I'm... Eating like I'm starving, huh? Mm-hmm. I did have two biscuits this morning with uh, my spicy hot wife uh, pepper jam and jelly. Jelly and jam. I had the pepper. Mm-hmm. I sure did. It was so good. Y'all need to order y'all's. It was good. Yep. Why is that season so good? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. That season good. All right, y'all. My topic. Oh, let's do a devil egg. Take a bite. Mm-mm-mm. That's delicious. Mm-hmm. So delicious. Mm. My God, that's good. Y'all have a really good spread today. I'm so happy. Ooh, y'all. I met a guy at the meat market yesterday. It was so fun. I had a blonde moment. <laughs> I had a, they had called my number, but his number was called before me. And I thought we were, well, 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 well while we were waiting, we had some good conversation, especially talking about the game, right? And so they called him because his number was 77, mine was 81. They called him. I'm going to try to make this long story short. He did He did his order and he left. If they called me. I was number 81 and I was flirting with the guy behind the counter because I needed him to change some of my meat for another meat. So he said, you know what? I'm going to do it for you. It's your pretty self. And I was like, uh-huh. Do it, baby. You'll see me again in three weeks. I promise. <laughs> you got to know how to get yours when you just got to get yours. A little flirtatious moment. Can be good. <laughs> so, 
He was feeling my arm. And so all of a sudden that dude came back, right? And he gave me a business card. And on the front of the card, it has eight, eight, eight something mortgage. So my blonde moment. <laughs> He, he gave me his card. He said, give me a call. And so I looked on the card. I said, but I'm not looking for a new place to live. All <laughs> oh, the people just start laughing around me. I had that really. I can't say it's a blonde moment. I'm sorry. But he said, no, no, no. Just give me a call. <laughs> so, you know, when a person today at the Give you a card, and he say, "Kyle, look, ooh, look at that, look at that." You know, I'm, you know, you know, I'm keeping that. That's big. When a person today, mm, oh, that went down my booby. I ain't got no man to get that out. Mm mm. Oh yeah, that went. Ooh, I gotta take a bath. I will be smelling like a something. Oh, it's still running. David, can I, excuse me, y'all. Can you give me some more paper towels? Because this juice is soaking up my skin. So, uh, I, I, you know, you, you know, you get a number. You don't know. You don't know how long you should. I don't know about dating the day, y'all. I don't know. So you ask yourself, do I, do I call a day? Or do I wait 24 hours? Do I wait 48 hours? Do I wait a week? I don't know. So, I went ahead and called last night because I was like, with the, with the, uh, with the place, and that's happening over there. You ought to know that by now, Pop Pop. I keep them with the plates. I open them up like they real plates because I eat out of them. Mm. Like, Damn, that's good. And so my brother got his dog here. His name is Jax. Jax smelled that good food. Jax will not leave my side. But Jax, no, he cannot eat this food. And, and all I hear is him sniffing. Like, mom, like, grandmother, give me some. No. So anyway, we had to talk. We had some laughs, too. It's pretty good for the most part. He's 10 years Younger than me, and that's perfect because I do young, 10 years my junior. You know, in between, you know. I told you I was trying to, the men at my age, and they, hmm. But I did try them. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I, 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 I believe in asking questions. If you're new to dating or just getting back into the dating scene, you know, you've got to ask questions if you want to know. So I asked him, I say, do you believe in God? Because hmm. I know who I am in God. We got, to, we got to have some commonality with that, for real. And so his answer was, yes, yes, yes. And I say, well, are you sure? He said, well, nobody has ever asked me that. I was like, oh, well, get ready for the next question because I think it's very important that we know as well. I say, are you like a, a man, kind of like the the man that, he said, that like only women? I say, exactly. He said, yeah. I say, okay, thank you. <laughs> it's important to ask those questions because, as y'all know, today, Everybody doing everybody and everybody doing everything. I do not want to be a part of that society. How about that? Because if y'all want me to just say what I'm about to say because it's the real me, I don't have nothing to hide. I would, oh no, I ain't going to say that. I want to be safe and sorry. I'll just say that. That's, that's better. <laughs> Honey. He said he was going to lock my number again. So I made the first call. If he don't call back, then that means I ain't worth the chase. And you got to chase me to get me. I'm old school. I know everybody probably have their own opinion about that today. 
Would I walk up to a man and let, and let him know that I'm interested? Of course I will. I have, and I will. So some men, I think, are shy. They're not... You know, they don't want to uh, come first. So I don't mind saying... Oh, you have a very beautiful smile, Laura. Oh, my God, that color works so well with you. Yeah. There's something so simple. You, uh, you could um, say something crazy like, do they have the same plays in basketball and football? <laughs> you don't better know the answer. <laughs> but it's a way to strike up a conversation, y'all. Mm-hmm. Is it a home run in football? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's talk let's just tap into because I really don't know how to talk about coping with divorce yes I've been through a divorce as y'all already know coping with it whether you ask for the divorce or he asks for the divorce the feelings are the same even though I asked for my divorce my crack of out tears was like he asked me for the divorce. It's nothing different. Every day, I think there's levels, if I can say that. There is the levels with divorce. There's the levels with breakup in the relationships. The level, the first level, I believe, if I'm wrong, I don't mind being corrected, y'all. What I went through with my divorce before my husband died, because I did divorce him, and I think the broken heart killed him. Because he wants to come back so bad. And I was like, uh-uh. It's hurt. Dave, you can eat up here with me. Come on, take a seat with your mama. And get whatever you need up here. You can you can have some crawfish off this plate. I know you don't want that, though. You're going to take some home. This boy got a plate of food for a princess, y'all. A bite. Really? Y'all, let me show y'all his plate. Now, look at this. Video. I'm not. Look what he put on his plate, y'all. Look at that. Really, dude. Yeah. But we we are we are also sipping drinks already too. Sometimes you don't want to eat. Have <laughs> your way, baby. But look here, y'all. I think I went through disappointment and pain first, and then I think that next level was anger. I was pissed off because you kept doing what the hell you said you wasn't gonna do no more. So I went through anger for a long time, and that's when, well, my life, my story, uh, life goes on. This, this is what I'm about to say. It's going to be in that space, too. So if you hear it again, just do this. Um, anger. My anger was long. It was. Because I was pissed. Because every promise you gave me, you kept breaking your promise. And so, healing. My son dog scares the hell out of me. He just run for no reason, whatever, whatsoever. He um, uh, uh, then the healing came in. The healing was it took some time as well, y'all. I don't know how children feel because we didn't have any children, so I don't know how they cope. But I know that it affects everybody it more harder than the children. I do know people who went through divorce that had children. It's devastating because a kid loved both parents with, 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 without picking at that moment. And I think sometimes divorce chooses them to pick and that's not good. So I can't talk about children and divorce because I've never experienced it. So that's that's not something I can teach. Remember the other day I told you in, in order for me to teach you, I had to go through it. I never went through that portion of a divorce. I only know what the grown-ups, me, and how we handle. Some of them be mean and angry and they lash out, they, they cut tires, they burn down houses, they do, you know, and that grown stuff because you hurt and, you know, depending on the level of the pain is how you act. For me, it was prayer, prayer, and prayer in the same and not communicating with him. If it's over, let it be over. That going back when you already filed for divorce, 
It just makes everything so complicated. Don't do it. If you're done, be done. For me, my stuff is yes and no, good or bad. I have no between. If you're finished, be done. Don't complicate because you're going to go before the judge. And, and don't date. I can, I can say that too. I didn't date. I did. Well, you know, I went seven years, so. But going through my divorce, I didn't date. Don't date nobody else right now because it's all when you when you date somebody so fast when you when you file for divorce or you going through separation and divorce and you bring another human being in the middle of your mess. It's just a selfish move, girl. You just need somebody to satisfy you because your pain is too overbearing that you can handle, honey. Get on your knees. And pray. You'll be all right. I always believe that this too shall pass. Let it pass on its own time. In its own way. Cry. Cry out. Get a friend. Get your best friend. Sometimes you got to get a bottle of wine. Shit. You might have to get three bottles. And, and just cry. If you get a one best friend that you can just cry to, just to cry it out, shout it out. I did that in my living room all by myself in the country. I know all the deers and the antelopes and the cattle and the cows and those wild rabbits that was running through my yard heard that yell. And I still do it right now today. Give it to God because you can't do anything by yourself. Pain is pain. I don't care who you are and what level you on. When you hurt, it's your heart. You always need somebody. I'm glad I had somebody. I had a whole family, actually, that helped me get through that. So... That's how I, I cope with my divorce. If you are married with children, I don't know that portion. I just ask that, you know, a parent knows the pain that children go through. Talk to your children. Listen to your children. If your children are acting out once you file divorce and everybody moves to their own places, if they get into another mode, you got to talk, talk to them. Don't tune them out because I know your pain is your pain, but your children are painting harder than you. Talk to your children. That's all I can say. So, y'all, you know when I get passionate about some things, you know I I, I can I can you know I told y'all. Relationships and divorce is my cup of tea. I can keep going on and on and on because I have wisdom. God bless me with wisdom on that level. So I'm going to shut this thing down now. We can talk about it another day, another way. But divorce is painful. I don't care who you are. Unless you, you know, that's a thin line between love and hate. Don't get to that over that line where you have to hate somebody. Because if you hate somebody, you never love them from the inside out. It was on the, for the surface what they gave you. Mm -hmm, think about that. So, you know, I'm about to shut this off. I have 30 minutes before game time. Y'all know I cleaned my crawfish out because I was I wanted this. I'm going to love on my family. We're going to uh, drink these drinks. And we're going to shout at the team that we like the best. <laughs> Thank you, my hustlers, for coming back. Thank you again for supporting my page. Thank you for my new subscribers. Now, before you leave and you want to join the hustlers family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That notif notification bell right on the side. Ding dong, ding dong. Don't forget to share, like, and comment. And so with that said, you already know I love you guys and there is nothing 
you can do about it. Have a great day. Uh, uh, you know, salute for your favorite team. And with that said, goodbye. And so, yes. Mwah. Mwah.